Welcome to Dogs Trust Harefield. My name is Richard Moore and I'm the Rehoming Centre Manager here and I'm going to take you today on a virtual tour of our Rehoming Centre, tell you a little bit about how we're coping in this interesting time with COVID-19 and also introduce you to some of our lovely residents including beautiful Wolfie. Wolfie came into us, poor chap had unfortunately managed to eat a battery and his owners put an enormous amount of time into caring for him into ensuring that he had the medical attention that he needed but unfortunately their circumstances meant that they could no longer look after him brilliantly he is going to a new home very very soon and i know he's certainly looking forward to that experience these are our rehoming kennels so this is an area that usually we will have lots of members of public coming around having a look at the kennels seeing the dogs and deciding who might be the right new family member for them. Uh, at the moment, we don't have public on site, which is very strange for our dogs. They're used to seeing people on a daily basis. And it's actually quite noticeable that our dogs are slightly noisier than normal in this area because it's more unusual for them when me or a person with a camera suddenly arrives and starts uh, saying hello to the dogs. These rehoming kennels are glass fronted, which is wonderful because it gives the dogs that secure barrier, but it still gives a great opportunity for them to see what's going on in the world and likewise for public when they're here to see the dog as well. The kennels are also underfloor heated and they're a really nice cosy environment for the dogs. Plenty of beds, uh, plenty of toys and just a really nice fun environment for them. We have 30 kennels in this area. In total we have over 70 kennels and the kennels are made up of the rehoming kennels, our intake kennels for dogs that have newly arrived, an isolation area, we have an area for pups and we also have a training area as well for those dogs that are slightly more challenging, that might have more work needed to be done with them, more behavioural focus on helping them to find a new home. These two lovely ladies are Abba and Millie. They came into us through the canine care card scheme. Um, this is a scheme for older people or people that are concerned about their health and their future. Um, and they need to have the reassurance that their dogs are going to be cared for should anything happen to them. Sadly, these two beautiful dogs came in because their owners passed away. And there was an uncertainty as to what would happen with them. The Cayman Care Card has given that reassurance that we could look after the dogs and they're now with us waiting for that right home to come forward and they are absolutely stunning schnauzers. Um, it's quite incredible to see at, in these challenging times that we are still having dogs come through to us, puppies that have been smuggled into the UK. Um, the puppy smuggling issue has been huge for several years now but you would have thought that there would have been more containment um, and less people coming over the borders however it's really unfortunate that we're still seeing these puppies uh, they still have to go through a very strict isolation period before they even come into the centre and then when they arrive here we really have to work hard on their socialisation. The cute Maltese pups that are currently with us have probably had four weeks plus of isolation and extensive traveling across Europe to get here and it means that from a socialization point of view they are still getting to work out what on earth is going on in the world and we have to help to get them used to grass to people to wearing a lead to just living a normal dog life and that takes quite some intense work to get them to the point where they can go home to their lovely new homes. In many ways, it's business as normal here at Harefield. The dogs obviously continue to need to be cared for, and we have an amazing dedicated team of staff here that are caring for the dogs on a daily basis, making sure that they're still having a brilliant level of exercise, being fed, cleaning their kennels out, and just having a really good time. Uh, the one bonus, in fact, of the lockdown is that the staff have had more time than ever to spend working with the dogs and for particularly with those dogs with maybe behavioural needs to be able to put some more intense training in with them is really helping to see them make some great progress with regards to getting them ready for the new home they're going to. One thing that has slightly changed is our veterinary suite. This is a, an amazing facility. This facility is usually used for neutering, for dentals, uh, and as you can see, it's currently quite quiet because we've had to restrict the level of surgery that we're doing. 
For a couple of reasons. One, we are restricted on the number of veterinary team that we have at the centre at the moment, but also we want to make sure that PPE is prioritised for other needs. I think the biggest change that we've seen here at the centre is in our intake of dogs and rehoming of dogs. During the period of lockdown, understandably, people are not allowed to leave their houses unless it's for an essential reason. And our dogs, therefore, are not being seen by the public. And up until very recently, we had to postpone uh, all area of rehoming, so all our options for our dogs to go to those new homes. Very recently, we have now started a new strategy by which under the permission of DEFRA, we can start to take dogs to their potential new homes, but it involves a very different way of working and everything where possible is done online from virtual home visits to virtual dog meets uh, so that we can ensure hopefully before that dog goes to the new home that the people are gonna be appropriately prepared and, and are the right people to take that new dog into their home. Intake similarly has had to change and now when we're collecting dogs, we have to consider the most urgent cases and for people that are very unwell, particularly experiencing COVID-19, then it's essential that we're able to support them and support their dogs in this time of crisis. Uh, but in order to do that, we need to make sure that we're suitably kitted up with the appropriate PPE from overalls to foot covers to gloves to where possible uh, masks as well. It's ensuring the safety of our staff at the same time as ensuring that we're able to continue to do our job, which is care for the dogs of the UK. Hi, my name's Leanne. My main job roles are to just care for the dogs, particularly the ones that just need a little bit more love. Um, now you've had your tour of the centre, it's time to go and meet some of our dogs. This is Rex, he's a two year old Mastiff cross Great Dane. Um, he unfortunately was returned to kennels because when he got bigger he was a little bit dog reactive and there was a lot of dogs in the area where his home was so he couldn't cope with the amount of dogs that were there. He absolutely loves his cuddles, he loves his people, he is a very good boy. When he does focus he's so smart, he picks up his training so so quickly. Look at that pretty face, he's like I will do. Yeah, good boy. Oh, you know, I'll give you everything. <laughs> oh. Yeah, good boy. Rex does have to wear a muzzle when he's out walking. This is just because he is um, a bit dog reactive. He does need a home where he has a secure enclosed garden. He is a very, very big dog, so he has to live in a home that have experience or that are willing to learn about these large breeds because he does have some very specific things that he will need to have throughout his life. He is, as I said, a real sweetheart, but he is a big baby. He does get overexcited um, and he just needs to live in a home who's going to accept and embrace that. Um, there will be times where he might throw your cushions around or just think that everything in the world is a toy and just have fun. This is Ty. He's our beautiful eight-year-old Sharpe. Um, he came to us from Bridge End because he was struggling to find a home um, at that centre, so we thought he'd have a better chance here. Um, he's an absolutely gorgeous dog. He does unfortunately need to live in an adult home in a low dog populated area as so he can be dog reactive. He also has to wear a muzzle on his walks but that again is um, it's just a normal piece of equipment for him. He, he loves his muzzle and he wears it just as he wears his harness. He also needs a secure enclosed garden for time that he can have a run around off leave without his muzzle on. This is Rolo. She's our lovely six year old Rottweiler cross. She's an absolute sweetheart and loves her cuddles and she also loves to play. Um, she's so much fun to have here at the kennels, everybody loves to take her out. She loves to just run around with you, playing for as long as she can, finding any toys that she can find while she's out here around the centre. <laughs> she is six years old. All Rolo's really looking for is someone to love and to uh, cuddle up with her on the sofa. She can live with children but they have to be 14 plus just because she does find younger children a little bit scary. <laughs> Sadly at the moment our famous tea rooms are closed. Uh, the tea rooms are run partly by staff but also by volunteers as well and at this time of lockdown um, one of our biggest assets, our volunteers, are unfortunately unable to work at the centre. Um, it's a real shame uh, because these volunteers dedicate hours and hours of time and care to look after these amazing dogs. And I know that all of them are sitting at home eagerly waiting until the lockdown restrictions are lifted so that they can come back and give these dogs a, a great time.
Thank you so much for coming with me on my virtual tour. I hope that you've enjoyed the time that you've spent looking around the centre and meeting some of our dogs. Good luck in this unusual time. Stay safe. Take care.